Okay, Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. And we were looking uh, yesterday at the verses where Hashem tells Yitzchak not to descend to Egypt in the face of the famine, that he should stay where he is. Um, the, the notion of him being the Ola Temima, the pure um, elevation offering that would prevent him from leaving Eretz Yisrael. He needs to stay. He's the Holy One to stay in the Holy Land. In the continuation of the um, God's words to Yitzchak, where he tells him to stay where he is, and that he'll fulfill that uh, he fulfill the, the the oath that he had ta- God had taken with Abraham, um, and uh, help to uh, to increase his seed like the stars of the uh, heavens. Um, and then it says, the reason is Ekev Asher Shama Abraham Bekoli, uh, due to the fact that Abraham. Hearken to my voice, Vayishmor Mishmarti, and he observed my Mishmeret, the things that have to be observed, Mitzvotai, Chukotai, Vitorotai, my Mitzvot, and my commandments, and my statutes, and my Torahs. That has to be unpacked. What do these words mean? Says Rashi, Shema Avram Akoli, that Avram listened, hearken to my voice, that I get. Um, when I kishna siti oto, and when I tried him, so that's hearkening to God's voice in each of those very specific nisio note trials that Abraham experienced. Then, by yishmor mishmorti, what does that mean? Gzei rot laharchakal hazarot shabatorah mishmeret are the things that the decrees that you do to try to help prevent um, any transgression of the Torah rules. That's what a mishmeret is. Um, and like the special rules on Shabbos, that the secondary and third level rules for Shabbos, so you don't transgress the 39 Malachot. Mitzvotai, Devarim Mishael, Mitzvotai, Shilun, Nichtavu, Reuyin, Hemli, Yitzvot, Mitzvot are things that, that, if it, that are, are um, later on, we refer to them as Mishpatim, actually, right? That if, even if the Torah hadn't commanded, they should have been written down as laws, like the rules against uh, uh, theft and, and, and murder and the like, chukotai, things that the Yetzir, Hara, and others will, will uh, question. These are all things that we're accustomed to seeing and hearing discussed later in the Torah. What does it mean here? What does it mean here? And the Ramban says, you know, when you read this, um, all, in, call, in Cain says Ramban, Kol zebanoi al dat shihaya avraham mekayemu shemertu Torah, ajlo nitna. This is all sort of premised. This reading is premised on the understanding that Avraham um, was observing the Torah before God had given the Torah. What does it mean? Just like mag- magically he was of the Torah? No, somehow or another. Somehow or another, individually to Avraham and then to Yitzchak apparently also, um, the, uh, the Torah's rules were being observed by Avraham. It's very complicated to figure that out. And we sort of have rabbinic readings generally that try, and you know, we always think of them as a sweet way, that, um, as they try to imagine that the Avram kept Pesach and this and that, which are, which are all you know, interesting, sweet reads. But here you have phraseology that is hard to understand other than that. that all the words that we use later in the Torah for rules of the Torah, mitzvotai, torotai, chukotai, these are all later words. And so this is, serves as a premise for this notion in a very anachronistic kind of way um, that uh, Avraham and the patriarchs observed the Torah. Scratch your head a little bit, think about it some more, and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue with our learning, God willing, tomorrow. Have a great day.